Lowrance introduces Spotlight Scan Sonar, which delivers a new level of angler-controlled surround scanning views to provide picture-like images of key fishing areas on your HDS Gen 2 or Gen 2 Touch. Similar to the way a spotlight reveals objects in the dark, Spotlight Scan Sonar clearly pinpoints structures and fish targets ahead and around your boat. The Spotlight Scan Transducer also features downscan imaging and broadband sounder for the best possible views beneath your boat. Quickly identify key fishing areas before you make your first cast. You save valuable time on the water and maintain focus on the most productive fishing spots, all without disturbing these areas before you've had a chance to fish them. Spotlight Scan Sonar is affordable and easy to install. This is a do-it-yourself bow mount installation for foot-controlled cabled steered trolling motors. Spotlight Scan Sonar is easy to install. This rugged low-profile transducer housing has three different views. Spotlight Scan Imaging, Down Scan Imaging, and Broadband Sounder. It's secured with a stainless clamp and has a single cable that runs up the trolling motor shaft. Next, you'll need to install the foot control sensor. This allows Spotlight Scan to know which direction it's pointing. This works on any foot control cable steer model. After you've installed this sensor, you simply connect it to your NMEA 2000 network. The Spotlight Scan transducer cable splits into two cables, which plugs into your structure scan port and your broadband sounder port of your HDS Gen 2 Touch. Once you've installed the Spotlight Scan Sonar, you'll need to calibrate the foot pedal sensor. Instructions can be found in your owner's manual. After you've done your foot pedal calibration, you'll need to adjust your heading. All you have to do is go into your heading adjustment, and you can make one increment changes. As you can see, as you do this, your twin spokes will move. You want to align the center of these twin spokes with the arrow on your trolling motor so that it's facing directly off the front of the boat. Once you've done this, all you have to do is hit back and you're done. Alright, so we're looking at Spotlight Scan Sonar. You can see it here on the left pane here. And these V spokes are coordinating with our trolling motor direction. As we spin the trolling motor or sweep it over an area, it actually generates an image of that area. So you can see here as I turn the trolling motor and as the arrow on the trolling motor moves, we're sweeping that area. So it's, it's structure scan like image where it shows the bottom uh, high detail uh, like you're used to with structure scan, but you're also able to pick up fish in the water column. And you can see that, that is between right here and where the bottom starts. So that's great for seeing uh, predator fish and bait balls uh, and being able to target the exact direction off the front of your boat. Okay, so the main uh, adjustments are range. So you can see we're in about 10 feet of water and at 80 feet range here. So that's our circumference. And uh, you can go shallower, or when you go shallower, you can decrease your range to about 40. And what that does for you is it gives you a better resolution. It also makes your water column bigger. So if you're looking for fish in your water column, having a smaller range makes your water column bigger. And that's great for targeting, uh, you know, if you're looking for bait fish or for predator fish. So there's two different frequencies. There's 800 kilohertz and 455 kilohertz. 800 kilohertz is gonna give you really high detail imaging. Uh, it's great for shallower water too, anything under about 30, 40 feet of water. And 455 is gonna give you the ability to look out greater distances. So if you're fishing a flat and you're really wanting to see out 150 plus feet, 455 is gonna work great. So contrast is another adjustment you have. Currently it's on auto, so that allows it to uh, automatically take uh, and, and make it not so bright. And it changes for, if you go deeper, your contrast is gonna automatically increase. And if you're shallower, your contrast will decrease. But you have the ability to go in and turn off auto and make 1% increment adjustments. So you can really fine tune it and get the exact shadows that you're looking for. Look at that awesome bait, bait fish right here. You can start to see them show up too on the down scan and the traditional. So using a 40 foot range here in deeper water allows us to have a really wide water column. 
and that's great for looking for fish. You can see here that we have a lot of bait fish showing up in the water column. And you can actually tell there's, there's several small schools of them. But if you're really looking for structure, you'd want to make your range uh, even wider. So you just can go here and let's show you what, 80 feet. So we're doubling our range. We're going to take a new scan of that area. And you can see how the water column is much more compressed. And you're not going to get as much detail of those fish. However, the bottom detail is much better. You're now able to see some rocks and see some of the shadows. Yeah, you can even see that there's, there's quite a bit of an old river channel over here. Spotlight Sonar has nine different color palettes to choose from. There's a few different ones that are my favorite. This blue and black is really good at marking shadows, but number six is my favorite for getting the highest detail possible. All right, so when we're fishing a point, it's really important to position yourself for the right cast. So many guys fish points these days that you need to have some type of advantage. So this product lets you see a little bit different angle and be able to make perfect casts. So what we're seeing here as I'm scanning this point is actually that we're almost setting on top of or we need to back out a little bit and hit these rocks and these shadows. And you can see over here to the left as well. So we need to be targeting those items, not necessarily pulling right up on the point. So this helps eliminate a lot of wasted cast, uh, especially when, when you're fishing uh, you know, areas that a lot of other anglers are targeting. Uh, that's what we're looking for right there. <laughs>